Danny Murphy, who is this person? Well, I've been doing... I mean, you've been in media a lot longer than I, Jim, but that was uh, one of the most bizarre experiences I've had, yeah. I spent the, the in-between bits of talking, <laughs> thinking about people I despise, which was quite easy in, in many respects. <laughs> I was just trying to think of really negative... Trying to think of people I really don't like and things I don't like to keep stop me from laughing. <laughs> so how like so this was you were at Wolves Liverpool last yeah. night and well, somebody if, planted this tape, this audio tape that kept on going off. Well, you, do you? It was some YouTuber idiot or whatever but yeah it was quite funny at first initially because it was so, it was so loud in the studio it was obviously very off-putting but we didn't realize it was only we thought maybe it was coming out of tannoy because right? there's a speaker just outside the studio and the whole stadium was getting it and that, then we realized it was just us <laughs> so we're thinking someone's got us here and then of course <laughs> as you know by seeing it every time it came back to the studio to speak once you've seen a bit of vt or whatever it started again and the problem was I couldn't really hear what Gary was saying. He couldn't really hear what I was saying. Incy couldn't hear what. So what was coming out so of your mouth? Good, good come out with him. Pardon? <laughs> yeah. Good to come out with him. I mean, we could so have somebody said... was operating and you didn't know who. Yeah. And um, <laughs> do you know now? I think he's yeah he's he's posted it. I wouldn't give him the credit giving him his name. It became tedious after about. Apparently, five it was minutes. Jarvo the the BMW, YouTuber. Yeah. But in yeah. fairness, prankster. In fairness, I thought Lineker handled it quite well because it would have thrown many a guy off their strides. So in fairness, I thought the, the producer maybe should have thrown outside and took him away from the studio if I was in control of that situation. If Lukey was doing it, he would have managed it, not the rank amateurs at the BBC. If you but, were the producer, I like yeah, that. See, the, the worry Martin is... Keown was the producer. He's that in that space, Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. I did think of you, Jim, because I thought, you know, if that happened... At that moment, if that happened, noise was going on, you thought of Jim. Yeah, if that happened on that's here, I'm not sure Jim would know what the noise was, but that's <laughs> well, a different I, story. I, I, it didn't register with me at all. I remember that noise in the 50s. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought it was somebody in pain. Uh, I, well, I, it, I, it was. This is wonderful. So, I mean, Jarvo, if you're listening this morning, a nation is talking... Danny Murphy, you were the consummate professional, just cracking on through it, getting on with the points that you were making. It was a weird one. It was a weird one. I um. How did you feel when Shearer threw you under the bus, blaming you? Well, at that point, I, I hadn't checked me. I wasn't actually sure it wasn't me. So I checked. <laughs> <laughs> the thing was, I got paranoid because Gary Gary said it as well. So I thought, better check my phone. Luckily, <laughs> I'd already turned it off. So I thought, well, it can't be me. Um, but yeah, it's it, it, in in many ways because the game was poor. And yeah, it wasn't really like an FA Cup game. It, it give us something, something to talk about. Well, Danny, you were part of one of TV's biggest moments, even this early in 2023. So congratulations for oh. that, my friend. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.